Um, so this is my kitchen over here now. So I have a fueled stove here for simple meals. I'm going to start changing that up over here, which I think just makes life easier. Um, time for me to do my very cursed thumb on the control. And <laughs> this is very hard. <laughs> Fuck, I'm trying to hold down control while hitting my left mouse button with my pinky. Hold up. Hold up. I got this. I got this. Oh, oh. God, this is so cursed. Okay, there we go. My index finger, oh sorry, my ring finger is not very good at clicking. Legolas, once again on the hunt, dude. Look, if your arm's ouchy, why not just do a reaction stream? I think we're doing okay. Zath, what's up? Thank you. Good day, everyone. Low wave, low rave. Low rave, indeed. I mean, it's a bit of a slower uh, paced game now, but I don't think that's a problem. Kind of want to run the cables a little differently. I keep asking people this, but they ignore me. What's up, Fabula? Sorry if I ignored you previously. The only thing I... Oh, our Scandinavian language is based on Latin? But you keep people... You could just Google that, no? Are they? No. <laughs> no, they're not. You could just Google it. <laughs> Am I playing with mods? I have a uh, wall light mod and then a melee and ranged weapon mod. And better hauling, yes. Dutch is technically a Germanic language. And they do have a similar origin. And I'm sure we've borrowed a lot of words from Latin and French and everything else involved, but English is also a Germanic language, right? It is not quite Latin. English, I think, is primarily Latin. Okay. Get him, Gimli. Um. Oh, what? A symbol of bliss? A large image drawn on the ground and reinforced with metal edges. It is used as a focus for rituals. Whoa. What? A stone shrine? A wooden structure packed with smoke leaf? It can be ignited during a ritual and produce, produce a huge amount of smoke leaf? Holy crap. This is just like... We, we can like smoke weed in, in like a big group? We can let the whole family join it? Fun for the whole family. My problem with English is Kansas versus Arkansas. Yeah, I, I, I agree. We should just call it Arkansas. <laughs> Did you actually get the book, uh, Bunny? Let me know what you think, if you did. Did I cut off my right hand to make gaming more challenging? Yeah, basically. Why do you, it's still here, it's still here. It just, oh, dude, that feels weird. I don't know. Dude, I had to take off those bandages this morning, right? Lauren just barely did not call me a little bitch, but she thought it. It hurt, man. Ay, ay, ay. I was not having a good time. I got like a free forearm wax. 42 months. The meaning of life is logo TV forehead. <laughs> is it, Fox? 
I thought it was the answer to the life, the universe, and everything. But hey, thank you very much for the 42. Hell yeah. It did not feel good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole being able to give birth thing really puts things in perspective, right? But I swear, man. Getting the bandages off really hurt, okay? <laughs> she will never understand the pain. You guys don't know what I'm going through. Yeah, there's a bunch of gold over here. I don't know what I'd do with it, but there is a bunch of gold. And I saw some gold somewhere else as well. I thought I did anyways. That's a very good point, yeah. Ah, here's some more. No, that's compacted machinery. Never mind. Ah, here's some more. Ah, see? We also got more gold over here too, because it fell out of the sky. No, dude. Giving birth? That sounds... pretty rough. Yeah, we have a little road over there. Arkansas comes from the French translation of a name for one of the local tribes. Kansas was put directly into English from a name of another tribe. Ah. I mean, they are cool names. Yo, fish. Thank you very much. Casual $10 tip. Appreciate that, man. Glad you still enjoy. Uh, this is for my prisoners, by the way. For prisoners. I may want to do like another two of them. I'm not saying we're gonna get multiple prisoners, but I'm also not not saying that. You know what I mean? What else am I gonna need in this little prisoner room? An end table? A dresser, of course. None of my actual dudes have dressers yet, but... The prisoners get to have a dresser. Um, and maybe like a little chess table. Yeah, and I get one, one chair though. Okay, fine, I get two chairs. It's better to be a prisoner in my base than it is to be a colonist. It's a bit of a strange situation, I guess, but... Um, I guess I'm actually gonna just move it back. Arkansas comes from the root word Arkansas and Kansas comes from the root word of Kansas. There you go. Oh, a table for mules. That's not a bad idea. Just a little baby table. Let me see. Furniture. They get a, um, I don't know, smallest table I can do. Is that the smallest table? I guess so. It's average? I think it's an averagely sized table, yeah. Did you have to start all over again? Uh, maybe. Look, I don't want to talk about it. I feel like you're gonna judge me for it. Hideous environment? What? Bro, she has very high standards. I just nursed her back to pretty much 100% health. And now she's complaining that it's kind of ugly in here. Sounds like Samwise Gamgee, all right. I should take out, yeah, well, I mean, I should definitely take out at least one of her feet. Guys, I spent too much time 
watching vertical videos over the last couple of days because I was very bored. I couldn't really do anything. So I watched a lot of vertical videos and I found out that apparently water bottles have become a status symbol. What's up with that, gamers? I don't I don't understand. Can anybody explain this to me? Why are all these these especially TikTok girls buying these like Stanley water bottle things? What the hell's going on there? I don't know if anybody has observed the same thing. Like back when I was a kid, bringing a water bottle to school, that was not allowed, okay? Like bringing a water bottle to high school? That's how you get bullied for sure. <sighs> yeah, hydration is in style this year. Absolutely. And I agree with it, absolutely, but... Yeah, there's these very large, very overpriced water bottles. And apparently that's a status symbol right now. Being environmentally friendly is hip. Mm. Water bottles are totally a status symbol. You're a high school teacher. Have you seen the same thing, Flamingo Bar Bingo? Are people just lugging around big like two liter bottles like these? Hydro Homies is finally cool now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You have a two liter Pepsi bottle? Mm. Water bottle theft is a real thing in the gym now? Oh my god. Loco is so hip. Bro, I've been cool long before it was cool, gamers. But I also have the wrong brand. This is, this is not a Stanley Cup, you know? I'm not that cool. People definitely bring liter bottles. Hydro flask insulated bottles. Okay. Maybe I'm a trendsetter. Yeah, yeah, I'm an influencer. Like what happened to the last colony? Thort got eaten by a wild animal. You carry around a gallon of mil milk everywhere you go? See, the great thing about guys in the chat is that I can't tell if you're serious or not. Do you really carry around four liters of milk everywhere you go? I honestly can't tell. Because there definitely are people that will lug around an entire, yeah, gallon of milk everywhere they go, yeah. <sighs> Many people would consider that a little strange. You don't? Ah. The bottle, this bottle is the status symbol? Yeah? That's <laughs> it's just a bottle. Th this, in your high school where you teach, is the status symbol right now? That's amazing. I really think, like, I was thinking about this, right? Because, again, I had nothing to do. I'm pretty sure that when I was in high school, nobody brought, at least none of the guys, brought a water bottle with them. I'm not sure why, but I'm fairly certain that people would make fun of you if you brought your own water bottle. You have to be tougher than dehydration. Yeah, dehydration is for losers. Am I mistaken though? That really was a thing in the Netherlands, no? Like it's the same in the Netherlands you had to have in high school, you had to have a East Back backpack. If you did not have an East Back backpack, People make fun of you, 100%. Yeah, using sunscreen as a guy in high school in the Netherlands? Oh my god. It's very true. God, high school was such a weird time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, Funnikun. You had a North Face backpack? Mate, you'd get bullied in high school in the Netherlands for sure. You had school-issued backpacks? Yeah, we don't have school uniforms or anything like that in the Netherlands. What? Uranium ore? Yikes. You gonna play Paul World? Ah, uh, not planning on it. Not planning on it. I have so many games to play, Psycho. I don't really... Oh, yeah, also, uh, apparently Nintendo made a statement about Power World. So I was talking about that quite at length earlier this week. Um, they tweeted about it, didn't they? 
I think I saw this somewhere. I don't know if I can find it, because I can't type with one hand. Um... I think it was the Pokemon company or Nintendo that made like an official statement. Um... I wasn't on Twitter, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, this is about Pal World. We have received many inquiries regarding another company's game released in January 2024. We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon intellectual property or assets in that game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to Pokemon. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon and its world and work to bring the world together through Pokemon in the future. I guess a lot of people asked them whether or not they were gonna go after RimWorld. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're investigating. That's basically the whole statement, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What if they just add guns to the next Pokemon game? <laughs> Whatever the next Pokemon game is gonna be, it will just have guns. Let's fucking go, dude. You can just turn, I don't know, Squirtle into... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, Starvation? Hello? No, 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 no. I'm not concerned about Starvation. Bilbo, fucking eat, man. Bilbo is just researching all day. Blastoise has a literal cannon upgrade? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. All of this stuff is ready to harvest. I guess I need to set up an assignment for it, because otherwise we're not gonna have enough food in the winter time. Actually, no, we're now actually playing on a part of the map where it doesn't get that cold. It doesn't get that hot either. It's kind of nice. We can grow food the entire year round, I think, which is sweet. All right, Basilia! Basilia, where you going? Basilia? I just nurtured you back to full. Guys, how do I get her in my uh, group of people? Um, she's leaving, I think. Do I have to knock her out? Because <laughs> I can knock her out. Okay. Well, I was hoping that we didn't have to get to this point, Basilia. I was hoping that you were gonna join us willingly. Instead, I will gaslight you into joining us. Fish is like, yes! Yes, Loco. This is what I love to see. Basilia, come here. Stop resisting. Thank you very much, Fish. Gifting another five community subs. Legolas is very slow today. I don't know why. Thank you, Fish. Ooh, hold up, this is... Okay, no, 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 I thought for a second this was like the fucking... Big Boy Empire, whatever they're called, I don't know what they're called. Yeah, they will be a little upset at me, but that's okay. No, I don't know, this is the Refugee Empire, something else entirely. It is? No, it's not! Wait, it is? No, it's not. I don't know what the refugee empire is. Uh, I didn't want to be... The building with the flag, bottom left? You mean bottom right? Here it is.
The crazy bangers? Oh. Alright. Ah, shit. Guys, this is exactly what I... An ultra tech refugee society? Their culture is based on a code of honor? Oh no. This is from the royalty DLC. These guys can m fuck me up in a moment, man. I do not have safes coming on. I don't know what happens. Like, I was already failing with them being my friends. No, I think if I re. No, no, no. If I release her now, it doesn't matter. All right, well, um, it is what it is, guys. We have to live. Yeah, if if they if they hit me with rocket launchers, I am super screwed. Um, because I wanted to become, you know, an emperor or something, or at least like have some royal titles. But that means I would have to be friends with them first, and I don't think there's any way for me to do that. Oh, I can release her, but then it's only going to be plus 15. And they're at minus 75. We will reduce her resistances. I'm sorry it has to be done this way, Basilia. Or should I call you Sam? Yeah, we can create our own empire. So the reason I really would like her to be part of the crew is because I need somebody making blocks and she is great at crafting. I did not quite mean to do this. But hey, sometimes things happen, Chet. And things always happen for a reason. Maybe. So we need to release five prisoners to get to zero. That is good math, Rumble. You're not wrong. All we need to go do is get five prisoners and then release them all at the same time. But every time we get a prisoner, it's minus 75. So I don't know how that math is gonna math. But I believe in us. They can't hate you more than they hate you now. Is that true? No, I think that can go lower than minus 75. But at some point, I guess, once you are... Yeah, it's such bad terms with people, it doesn't really matter anymore. I do need batteries, yeah. Bilbo is, uh, researching batteries. But he apparently also gets time off. He's currently drinking beer. Or she. Maybe it'll slowly reduce over time, though. So I don't actually know how this changes the game, guys. I've got a feeling it's not great for me, but... They get time off? Yeah, we're a very European society, Flamingo Bingo. Sometimes I even allow people, um... Weekends. I'm just kidding, I don't. I like how my prison is literally the nicest place in this entire base. Yeah, I have a new kitchen over here, but I just don't have enough people for cleaning. But maybe I do need to set up somebody for cleaning. Legolas, you can do some cleaning after you're done cooking. I think that's a good plan. How do you get more people? Well, that's what I'm trying to do right now with Basilia. But it turns out I made some enemies along the way as well. So basically what I'm doing, she's currently loyal to... She's currently loyal to that uh, refugee empire. And I have imprisoned her. And I'm trying to reduce her resistance. So the wardens will speak to them to reduce it. And then eventually when her resistance is low enough, I'm gonna go ahead and recruit her. 
and she will join me and become part of my beautiful society. We just have to gaslight her. Every day we feed her and we allow her to like have a good time. And depending on how nice the prison is, the level of resistance apparently goes down faster. I could also enslave her, yeah, but I don't really want to do that. Aurelius Spusnus, Praetor of the Refugee Empire, is calling from nearby. His guards were killed in an ambush. He escaped, but he's now being followed by a man-hunting monkey. Aurelius? Marcus? Oh, Aurelius wants you to keep him safe at Rivendell for a few hours until a shuttle? Okay. So there's going to be a shuttle of the Refugee Empire picking him up. Um, it's just... <laughs> that we just became enemies with them. Alright, Legolas. Legolas is incapable of social tasks. Those with royal tidies have a great need of social skills. Okay, no, no, no. We'll do this then with Bilbo. Or, uh, yeah, Bilbo. Bilbo has social skills. So this is kind of awkward because now we just became enemies. Aurelius joins us, an infantry officer. The Kaiser is here. We're all good. He has words of love. Okay, so I just need to protect him for a few days. And kill the man, man eating monkey. There it is, man. Is that the monkey? That's gotta be it. Yeah. Okay, so maybe if we do a really good job protecting him. He will no longer be angry, or they will maybe like me? God, this is <laughs> still freaking Rhino walking around. Don't anger the Rhino, Aurelius. I cannot fight a Rhino. I think I can take on a monkey with a gun. Like, with a gun, I can take on a monkey. I don't know if I can take on a monkey with a gun. It depends on the monkey. So Aurelius is going to just chill for a little while here. Oh. He's cutting us off, man. Can we fight him in the choke point? Can you... Cannot hit target. Dude, I am so bad at aiming with my left hand, it's insane. Okay, I think this is the shot. Yeah? Hit! Oh no. Legolas! Switch to your sidearm! <laughs> Knife him! Oh! We got it, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. I can tame him. No, I think we'll just pummel him to death. I think that's the plan. No. <sighs> we did it, gamers. We will eat the monkey for dinner. Aurelius will probably appreciate that. She's been followed by the gang. You want to see the gang? I don't know if the gang is wanna, gonna wanna stay here, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not very good at uh, keeping my arm. It's okay, though. Luckily, luckily, Toby was not being annoying at all earlier today. 
Luckily, I didn't go through a whole lot of trouble trying to remove him out of this room with one arm. So, you know, this is not that big a deal. Marcus Aurelius. This is a very smart dude. Is he talking? Wait, he's doing the recruiting for me? You know what's crazy about Marcus Aurelius, right? So this guy was a Roman emperor, and he had a diary that he kept, right? This is a couple thousand years ago. He kept a diary, and he just wrote stuff. <laughs> and that diary is one of the most read books these days. <laughs> Imagine if your private journals like that, they were never intended for anybody to read. Imagine your shit is gonna get published in 2000 years from now. And, uh, I don't know, man. He wrote, yeah, he wrote some, he wrote some clever shit. But I don't think most of us would want that sort of stuff, uh, published, no. Just like Anne. Anne Frank is a little bit of a different story, but... Thankfully for him, he's dead. Dude, he'd be mortified, no? It is a good book. People use Twitter nowadays? I don't think Marcus really has used Twitter. Yeah, what if your Twitch chat messages would get published, guys? Would you not be embarrassed? Freeholder title gained? Oh. So wait, Bilbo still has a title? Despite the fact that we are hostile? With the Emperor? Or with the Empire, rather? That's a bit weird. Let all my degeneracy be known. Marcus probably wrote something about... Degeneracy. Nah, it is kinda cool though. His, uh, his diary is kind of interesting. That's why you're keeping yours a secret. Your diary is just filled with passages of you and Shadowheart, isn't it, Bunny? Sorry that I figured out. Caesar Erotica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times. The Shadow Warren. Ooh. Did he have a big booba Athena crush? Not quite, no. It is kind of difficult to read, though. It's not really light reading. But it is kind of cool, because it's like, the, you know, literally the most powerful man in the world at the time. Emperor. Just dealing with everyday problems. It's pretty sick. Hey, thank you very much, Mr. Fish, for another five community subs. Hell yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Fish. Can we read Emperor Loco's diary about dealing with Twitch chat? We can, we can maybe, let's try and find a passage. Marcus Aurelius on hmm, Christianity, leadership, happiness, stoicism, love, horseback, Christianity. What about Marcus Aurelius on Twitch chat? Does he have any, uh, a, hmm. Chat with Marcus Aurelius? <laughs> There's an AI to talk to Marcus Aurelius? <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. No, I'm not gonna do this. Yeah, well, no, we can ask chat GPT, but it's okay. Oh, that's that thing. There we go. Oh god, dude, putting on headphones with one hand is not easy, but I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. Marcus Aurelius on... Chat. What is the most famous saying by Marcus Aurelius? Dwell on the beauty of life. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. All right, Marcus. Yeah, man, Marcus had no chill. Let's 
Let's go down Dreadlord Bop. I'm not really I'm not really a speedrunner, no. I'm more of like a slow runner. Whatever the opposite of a speed run is, is what I do. Yo, a Garing Dutch? Let me throw more money at my favorite gamer. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. A Garing, I will have to note, I don't know how long you have been watching this playthrough for, but remember that there was a character <clears throat> named A Garing? You're dead. Yeah, not in real life, in the video game. So, you know, that's the saving grace, I guess, but... Um... Totally expected. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, Watopia's wife died. It's a little sad, but... Is the dog okay? We don't talk about the dog. Blade? Blade got replaced with, <laughs> with a work named Blade Killer. It's a long story. I don't want to talk about it. Thank you very much, Blue Magic Koopa, for the tier 1 sub as well. Blade ascended. Yeah, he got replaced. Okay, here's the story about Blade, our husky that we started with, okay? A Garing had a loyal companion, a husky named Blade, after Blade in the chat. However, one day a Garing woke up feeling very inspired that he could tame any animal that he would try to tame. And it just so happens to be that that day, the husky, Blade, got attacked by a an angry wark. He got a little too close. The wolf got angry and he ended up, uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> dying. At which point the Garing stepped in and tamed the wark with a 100% success rate because he felt inspired that day. It was a little strange. So you decided to, uh, yeah, become friends with uh, the dude that killed your dog? Rimworld really is a bit of a strange game sometimes. Yeah. So honestly, it was an upgrade. It really kind of wasn't an upgrade, but... Anyways, um, speaking of upgrading, I'm trying my best right now to, uh... Get a fourth member to our party. We need limestone blocks, granite blocks, slate blocks, marble blocks... Sandstone blocks. Yes. Do until you have, do until you have, do until you have, do until you have, do until you have. God, here we go again. I gotta do my weird control thingamajig. Ah, oh, jeez. This is not... Uh, okay. 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 I'm microing this with my fucking pinky, dude. My left pinky as well. Okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. It's okay. No, I didn't get any painkillers from the doctor. No, Dutch doctors are not very fond of painkillers. Nobody likes to show off, Loco. I did get better at it, didn't I? You're currently doing a Rimworld playthrough with mainly Neanderthals? Hmm. No, that is for real, yeah. Doc Dutch doctors in general will tell you just to take over-the-counter painkillers. I remember when I was younger, I had a bunch of ear operations, and after the ear operations, they did not give me any painkillers. They just told me to take paracetamol, which is basically... I think it's Advil in the US? Yeah. You can take like eight of those a day or whatever. Can I close the door? I can. Well, you're the one that left it open. But fine. Jeez. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I have to do the headphone micro again. Oh! No, that was the worst one by far. Oh, maybe it's Tylenol? I think that's might be it, actually. Yeah. Mom and dad are fighting. <laughs> the cats are gone. Yeah, no. I'm getting backseat lifed. That's okay. Yeah, you don't really get strong painkillers in the Netherlands, unless, like, you have really big issues, but generally, they try to avoid them. I always listen to Twitch chat, buddy. What are you on about? Always. They hand them out like candy in the US? Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing, though. <laughs> oh, no, that's not good, Jeffrey. Uh, 
Uh, Basilia, how happy are you right now? Yeah, Bilbo. Tell her, dude. Um... Okay, resistance is going down, but it's gonna take ages. Paracetamol. Yep. Just, uh, good old basic stuff. Ibuprofen, maybe. But in general, they don't really give you a lot of painkillers in the Netherlands, no. I just started this one, uh, maybe two hours ago, I at this point? Maybe three? I'm playing pretty slow, but, yeah. So, what do I do with these steam geysers? I'm thinking about expanding my base. I guess I just need to, like, get my dudes to do the stuff that they are doing right now. I have plenty of assignments. Batteries is important. Cough syrup in the Netherlands also does nothing as far as I know. It used to have active components that actually did something, but... Turns out those are not ideal. Yeah, I, I think at some point a geothermal plant would be nice, but... Expanding my base becomes a bit messy. Also because there is like a... Um, I guess I can build bedrooms over here, actually. Yeah, I'll just build my bedrooms over here. I want to build bedrooms, but I need, I need like, stone and whatnot first. Yeah, that's the plan. I will go ahead and build a little path. And then at some point, maybe I'll, like, allow it all to be built in, but... This end of the path is where we begin our structures, I guess. Uh, actually, no. I want to have a little path that can go up and down as well. We're laying down our roads here, so this is where the, the houses can go. Okay. Yeah, game is slow when you only have three people. You were given uh, Tylenol for wisdom teeth removal? So I also, for example, I, I just got paracetamol when I... Which is, I think, just Tylenol in the US uh, when I got my wisdom teeth out. And the standard dose over here is like 500 milligrams, I think, for one little pill. And they advised me to take two. I think you you can take like two, four times a day or something. I'm not exactly sure on the details anymore, but yeah. You want to know my go-to build for the mid-game? Please, Agaring, if you have any suggestions, I'm not saying I'm going to follow them, but I'm completely winging it. And I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time, but... Maybe I can actually plant like a little, um... I think I'm doing a little planting zone right behind this. Okay, one more. So this one's rice? Yeah, this one can be potato. Oh, battery is done. Hell yeah. That should, oops, like... Devil's Trend Duskers with flag fast and submachine guns? With steel helmets? Oh, dude, I haven't even gotten to that point. I've failed a bunch of times now. Not even getting remotely close to that. But I guess I will start off... ...my smithing over here. Psychoid brewing? And then we'll go into machining and then eventually gun production. Mitch, what's up? Thank you. Thank you for the 23 months. So when you guys play this game, right, for people that are experienced with it, do you usually just play with three dudes? Because I feel like a lot of people would be much better off starting with, like, five or so. Because it seems like I just don't have a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. I do like the experimentation in this game. 
So the wing in it is fun, but if you start with a tribe of five, you usually start with one. Oh. You started with only one dude and plan on working your way up. You moved on to five because three is too slow. Yeah, five would be kind of nice, but I see the appeal of starting with one as well. You try to go up to 12 dudes quick. Eight to 12. Yeah. No, that makes sense. There's just too many jobs that need to be done at this stage in the game. Um, okay, so I can put up a battery now. We'll put down two batteries over here, because we can. Two to five dudes is ideal. Bally, don't talk about your weekend plans, please. It's only the beginning of the Friday for you. Uh, Gimli, can you go ahead and do a little bit of building? There you go, mate. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm sure putting batteries in an enclosed room made out of wood is an excellent plan. I do not see the problem at all. No, you can set up your difficulty, like your starting resources and how aggressive your story maker is and what. It, it gets very tricky. Fuck, dude. I keep messing up my left and right mouse. <laughs> uh, this is also my kitchen. So this is where my food goes. What I really want here... I put batteries in wooden structures? Absolutely. Narub! Indubitably. Sorry, I gotta do that. Thank you very much. 81 months. Okay, this is the uh, cooler blueprint. Because currently it is hot as shit in there, 28 degrees, which is not great. It's the wrong way? Oh, it is the wrong way. My brain is also the wrong way. What I could do is actually heat up my prison area. Make it nice and toasty in there. Maybe that's not great though. So this is gonna be the kitchen here eventually. I'm gonna need a second storeroom for all my other junk. So I want it set up to like minus Two. I think that'll do the trick. Okay, we can see the temperature on the right side of the screen. So it's going down, going down, going down. Very nice. So we have a little field over here with very fertile ground. I think I am going to plant stuff over here, but not over here at the bottom. I think what I'm going to do is build a little... Yeah, build a little storehouse over here for my resources that I'm gonna actually use to build stuff. So this is gonna be dedicated to food. I wonder if I should have another one of these uh, windmills. I don't think that's a bad idea. Because I'm not really close to solar panels or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, I would really like to do uh, separate rooms. But I want to make my rooms out of stone. So I'm hoping that Basilia is going to join me. And then she can do all the stone cutting. Because she's very high in crafting. All my other dudes right now are not great at crafting. I'm hoping at the very least that that is what this does, but... Yeah, yeah, no, I get it, Sibirius. All good, all good. So this is where my separate bedrooms are gonna be. 
So for those of you familiar with the game, we had a discussion about this recently. How large do you make your duplicate bedrooms? Usually. Four by four? But somebody said it should never be smaller than six by six. Four by four or six by six? Five by five? Five by six? Okay, well, I'm glad we really figured this out. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna not set up though. So, there you go. Right here, right now, emerge. I'm always watching right here, right now, emerge. Lows. <laughs> Thank you, Lazy Links. You like odd shapes, like four by six? That's not very odd, is it? I kind of like odd numbers because then the door can be in the middle. I like barracks style, then people don't get jealous about... You go double doors? Oh my god. 3x5 is your quote-unquote big room layout? 5x6 sounds nice, because you can then, yeah, exactly, center the door. You could also put doors on either end, but that doesn't seem right, man. I've never seen a bedroom that has a door on two sides. That's weird. You've done a really weird one where the bedrooms were spherical shaped? I don't think we can talk about that one anymore, Gary. I don't think that's allowed. What's up, Echo? You made it home? Very nice. You've been in Canada all week? What's up, Nolan? Hello. What kind of game is this? It's a bit of a messed up one. It's actually one of the most popular games on Steam. I didn't quite realize how popular this game was, but it seems like a lot of people I really do like it. No, I did not invert left and right on my mouse. Maybe I should. 